Now, if you're gonna simmer these heads and not cut up, cut them open, I guess you probably would cut it open to make it easy, to make it fit in your pot, really. Yeah. So then you, at that point, you could extract the bullet from the brain, because this guy's out right. of Philip. Um, and one of our patrons is asking, what safety precautions do we need to make in regards to the lead 22 round that was used in the headshot so we can rest peacefully as the head simmers gently on our stove? Yeah. So will you just take the bullet out? Yeah, if I know I'm going to make head cheese from it. And the only way to get that bullet out is to saw the head in half. Okay. That's the only way. Yeah. And then you search for it, and you can usually find it. If uh, if you can't find it in the head, mm -hmm. it might be in the shoulder. And again, the way to find it is follow the trauma. Follow the bloodshot meat mm -hmm. and the path of the bullet and the bone fragments. Just follow them. Yeah. If you see a spot of blood on the shoulder from which the head was severed, mm -hmm. stick your finger on it. And if your finger goes <laughs> in, that is where the bullet will be. Uh -huh. So, yeah, you just kind of search for it yeah. and get it out of there. I don't worry about getting the bullet when I'm just roasting it. Okay. I don't think we're imparting it to the left. Right. It's pretty much, it's just, it's in, just there. in there. It's in the yeah. cavity. Um, but, you know, it, we're probably getting a little, no more than what you would get from a duck that you shoot out of the sky with lead shot. You know? Oh, sure. Um, so there's a little bit of that. But I think it's, if, if lead is a threat with the cooking of a head, it would be in its water solubility, mm. which is in the stock and mm -hmm. simmering. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want that heavy metal, Mm -hmm. before you make your head cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just pull it out. Mm -hmm.